Hello everyone, this is Ray 1416 here with a video on Millennials versus Generation Z. Now this is a pretty controversial topic because we are talking about two generations with two different mindsets. Some of them that are hard to believe, but I will try to gather enough evidence to prove that there is a difference between the Millennials and Generation Z. But first, let's start off with the survivors of the Great Depression. The Depression generation was a group of people that were born between 1915 and 1930. This was the generation that battled through financial difficulties, illnesses like polio, scarlet fever, mastoid scars, diphtheria, whooping cough, measles, etc. This was a terrible time in addition to droughts, terrible heat waves, etc. Then things got better economically when World War II occurred in the United States. After the war ended, troops came home and the baby boomer era began. Now you really can't blame the depression survivors for wanting to give their children better lives, right? I mean, these people worked their butts off to give their kids a good life, and many of them did their best to instill good values despite the change in the economy. Then in the 1960s, television changed the culture of America as well as gave those generations voices to rebel on the street. This signaled an era of rebellion that continues to this day. Generation X was from 1965 to 1982. This generation was a little more frugal than their parents, but they loved to party hard with disco, heavy metal, punk rock, the works. This was also a generation where cocaine, heroin, and alcohol became big problems that carried on from the baby boomer era. These people also loved driving around since most of the generation didn't pick up the phone and talk. Today, Generation X seems to be the most humble people of modern times. Now to my generation. Originally known as Generation Y, the Millennials were from 1983 to 1999. This is perhaps the most rebellious generation of all time. Yes, I'm a Millennial but I also identify as a conservative constitutionalist. I'm also a millennial that respects the mom-and-pop businesses, grows a vegetable garden like my great-grandparents did, and believes in living a grassroots lifestyle. Not all millennials are rebellious people that lack morals and disrespect Jesus. I mean, there are some that are trying to stray from the social conformity that their baby boomer parents started, but there are still issues that will be addressed soon. Finally, Generation Z, a new generation of adults that are stepping into the real world. How are the people of Generation Z different from the Millennials? Most people in Generation Z are very frugal people. They also believe in shopping for clothes at thrift stores, search for certain goods at garage sales and flea markets, and don't buy food at grocery stores unless there are markdowns or sales. This generation can help carry America forward even when some rebellious Millennials humble up and finally get a job. Are Generation Z people the laziest? No. From what I'm seeing, there are a lot more Generation Z people working at supermarkets than Millennials or Generation X people. But let's analyze why the Millennials are the most rebellious group since the Baby Boomer era. First off, Millennials that grew up with Baby Boomer parents learned a lot of immoral things. Indoctrinating Millennials that homosexuality, abortion, and feminism are good things. Unfortunately, I am the son of two Baby Boomers and I can't tell you that I didn't learn crap from them growing up. One was a person that went out and gambled. The other didn't give a damn about me and my siblings. I had no role model in my family growing up, so I had to learn to fend for myself a lot. I learned how to cook, how to play the piano, how to be a smart shopper, and how to survive primitive conditions. I learned how to do that all on my own. Learning all of this motivated me to get out there and do something with my life rather than to depend on my mother for everything. If millennials had that kind of mentality growing up, millennials would be considered the most productive generation since the survivors of the Great Depression. My grandparents, who were considered World War II babies, not only taught me about Jesus being my Lord and Savior, but they also taught me a work ethic that is sustainable and gives me a reason to be productive. And say what you will about my social views, but I have my grandparents to thank for motivating me to get out there and work on something even if I don't get paid for it. Now this is the case for every millennial out there. I've seen millennials sit on the couch doing nothing for a long period of time, some of them getting high, showing absolutely zero motivation, depending on others to get them whatever the goods they want. I've seen people get so messed up on drugs that it made me want to live a better life by not touching any drug whatsoever. I've seen millennials dine on Dr. Pepper and Doritos chips because they're too lazy to apply for work and buy $1 burgers at McDonald's. That's one example of being lazy. Another example of being lazy are millennial women marching on the street. Some of the women either dressed up as vaginas in protest of Donald Trump being president, some of them marching the streets shirtless, regardless of how big they are, some of them assaulting their own people because they are contemplating on going back to society and getting a job. Yes, the good majority of feminists marching on the street are millennials. 
I understand that baby boomers and Generation X women can be extreme and join in as well. But how many millennial women are marching the streets rather than doing their part for America by getting a job and supporting the economy? Now compare that to the Generation Z feminists that are protesting. They are perhaps the least involved considering they realize how toxic American culture has become. If any generation deserves the blame for the downfall of the American society, it is the baby boomers. The rebellious generation that supported abortion, homosexuality, drove Generation X, the Millennials, and Generation Z people into a debt that can never be paid off, and killed the jobs that had apprenticeships. Crafting goods, shoe repairs, butcher shops can't hire kids as apprentices anymore. Because of that, generations of people have lacked the skills to pass on to future generations because the baby boomers did not want to conform to working an 8-to-5 job as a way to learn responsibility in the real world. Because of that, Millennials are proving to be the laziest generation in American history. My brother used to be a lazy guy, but he grew up and worked before the age of 30. I've been working multiple jobs. Even though I'm out of work, I'm still out there feeding chickens, growing my own food, advertising small businesses, and supporting my local flea market somehow. Just because you are out of work does not automatically make you lazy. If you are doing something for your community, you're being a productive member of society despite making no money. If you have the basic survival skills, You'll tough it out. Generation Z is entering adulthood, and I feel that regardless of generations, we should teach Generation Z how to survive. If you are a baby boomer, Generation X, or millennial that is conservative and cares for the Generation Z adults, help them any way you can. Teach them morals. Teach them how to be frugal spenders. Teach them about the mom and pop businesses. Most importantly, teach them how to garden. That's the most important thing to teach them because with food prices going up, they need the information on how to grow their own food. Don't leave the Generation Z people in the dark the way the baby boomer parents left the Generation X and Millennials in the dark. This is America. This is our country. We have to make sure others survive so the next generation will exist. Now here's the difference between the Millennials and Generation Z in terms of fiscal responsibility. Millennials hardly drive, unless it's a long trip, buy junk food, since it's super cheap, buy new items, buy new clothes on sale, and pretty much party like the baby boomer parents. Generation Z hardly drives, buys fruit and vegetables on sale, buys meat at markdown prices. Generation Z also buys clothes at thrift stores and flea markets as well. If a Generation Z adult wants to buy a suit, they will go to their local thrift store and buy a suit for $20 or less. Millennials will buy suits on eBay and sometimes buy suits at a retail clothing store. So yes, Millennials are trying to be frugal, but don't often go to garage sales, flea markets, nor thrift stores. This is why Generation Z will likely be a wealthier generation. If Generation Z, the second generation, Great Depression survivors, who knows? As a millennial that don't drive, tries to buy meat that is on sale for really cheap, grows my own fruits and vegetables, feeds chickens, ducks, and a turkey, and advertises the mom and pop businesses, I can say that a lot of Generation Z people will bring America back to basics by supporting their local economy. Face it, places like Walmart, Target, Kmart, and Sears are slowly going out of business here in America. Shopping malls are going out of business. And you can't blame the Millennials for not wanting to shop at malls anymore. Hopefully some of the Millennials and Generation Z folks will watch this video and say to themselves, maybe we should try to go back to basics in case economic bedlam breaks loose. It may come a lot sooner than we think, or it may happen after my generation dies. Who knows? Bottom line, folks, stop protesting over a president, get off the streets, apply for a job, and start budgeting and economizing immediately. Because if the economy collapses and you don't change, you are bound to suffer like those during the Great Depression. We will have another depression at some point, folks. Be prepared now. Anyway, I'm Ed Ray, and I'm out of here.